Welcome to our second annual Research and Innovation Week as we celebrate 140 years of shaping futures. Humanities at the core of innovation. The single most important innovation in South Africa is the attempt to reinvent a non-racial democracy. Innovation we know flourishes when there is a strong knowledge base combined with a culture that embraces diversity of ideas. Science knows no country whose knowledge belongs to humanity. It is the torch which illuminates the world. What do you do with a physics degree? You do what you can to make a difference in the quality of life for your fellow citizens. It's no longer good enough to say, I have this great idea. That's fine, you have to do something with it. We started with a vision. The vision was to establish and to lead the electric vehicle industry in South Africa and to expand globally from here. And this is a big vision, but you don't start something like this with a, with a small vision. We understand only 4% of the universe. What if God discovers something on the other side? What the hell are we going to do about this thing? Because we are completely unprepared. This is not just a science telescope we are building, but it's also an engineering project. The deeper you go, the more you start to see the interconnection between the galaxy and its surrounding. It will require us to produce more scientists, if it is possible, more engineers. The brain drain is definitely reversed here. There's a brain gain. We need the input from the social scientists to better understand the human realities. It is extremely relevant if that knowledge can contribute to addressing social problems. Anti-racist in its impulse, anti-universitarian in its reach, and anti-colonial in its ambition. E-learning is very good, it's doing very well all over the world, but it is a journey for Africa, especially in the developing context. How are we planning and integrating these young people and adding value to their future in many other ways. For a postdoc culture to be vibrant, we have to send our postdocs abroad to be able to bring back the skills. It gives them a lot of space to really develop new ideas. While applying for rating is a process, it's well worth the investment given the rewards that it provides. The biggest benefit of my first rating is the fact that I could see where my weaknesses were and do something about it. If we could combine our individual efforts, how will be the sum total? Love is all that you need. Do everything with the utmost amount of love. Collaborations will enable us to increase the scope and complexity of our research topics. One of the most important elements of BRICS cooperation should be in the sphere of knowledge production and academic cooperation. Discovery potential is absolutely enormous. It's being uncomfortable with what we are currently comfortable with. It will improve connectivity between us and the rest of the world. Africa is an exciting continent right now. Our own future is tied to the economic development of Africa as a whole. Welcome to the second annual UNISA Research and Innovations Gala Dina. The main purpose is to acknowledge excellence and leadership in research and innovation and to honor the awardees. We salute your research achievements and in doing so, we celebrate the promise that you represent of even greater accomplishments. The interest in UNISA as a premier global ODL institution as being a rewarding and exciting experience positioning this university as a cutting-edge innovative university that is serious about its research and innovation. It is indeed an honor for me to be in the company of such great minds. To UNISA, thank you for always acknowledging and rewarding excellence. Innovation distinguishes between a leader and a follower.